Hello everyone. Today we will be talking about center cap and spare tire locks as well as parking safety tips. Stay tuned! Hello everyone, we are back with another video. In today's vlog, we will be talking about some measures we had to take in order to give our car a fighting chance against the masigasig and masisipag na magnanakaw ng Pilipinas. We will also be sharing some tips on how to keep your baby safe when you are out and about. Apparently, madalas na target pala ang mga spare tires ng Fortuner, Hilux, and other SUVs and most pickups na nasa labas and ilalim lang located ang mga spare tires. This was even mentioned by our agent during our quick demo when we were picking up our car from Toyota. They suggested for us to secure our spare tire with a spare tire lock. Medyo mahal nga lang yung spare wheel lock na ino-offer ng Toyota. It's around 6,500 pesos. So, we decided to put it off muna and tried to find a better deal sa labas. Meron naman sa Shopee and Lazada. It's around 1,000 200 to 1,500 pesos. Kaso, hin since hindi namin alam kung paano namin ikakabit, we just decided to purchase the other spare tire lock being offered naman sa Toyota Commonwealth car accessories for 3,500 pesos and have it installed there. Now let's talk about center caps. It seems like isang songkit lang ang katapat and it immediately comes right off. I heard that these center caps approximately costs 1,000 pesos each sa casa. So that's 4,000 an entire set. And alam naman natin sa Pilipinas, pati ang mga magnanakaw, naniniwala rin sa moto na when there's a will, there's a way. Pero since naniniwala din tayo sa kasabihang prevention is better than cure and better safe than sorry, we also took the necessary precautions para maiwasan ma-checkmate ng mga beshi wops nating tirador ng center caps. That's when we came across the Tindero shop. They are selling center cap locks for 1,200 pesos for 4 pieces.
Also, aside from the two anti-theft gizmos we mentioned, you may also want to consider these parking tips. The very first is park thoughtfully and strategically. Make sure to park in a well-lit area, close to a station guard, and cameras. Another thing is be considerate. Always consider other people with cars, parking not too close because that's how small accidents happen. Also, it might trigger a reaction from the other driver for them to actually purposely ding your car. And the rest is self-explanatory. That is all folks. I hope that you find this video helpful. And if you do, please like, subscribe, share to your family, friends, kapitbahay, frenemies. And see you on my next video. Bye!